What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a video I don't think I've ever, you know, shared with you guys before. So I wanted to come to you and show you what I have been using on my skin lately. It has been doing so great. I've barely had any breakouts. Like I've had like this little guy over here, which was like totally random. Other than that, my skin has been like so cooperating with me. I have now been using these products. Uh, my latest is the my daytime regimen, but my nighttime regimen I've probably been using now for about five or six months. So I just wanted to bring all of this to you and share these awesome brands, this awesome product that I have been loving because my skin looks awesome right now. So first things first, um, my daytime regimen. So I'm going to just go on ahead and link the video as to how I found out about this company. It's a really, really awesome company. They're fair trade, they're vegan, no animal testing, soy and gluten free, non GMO, domestic packaging, all that good stuff. I'm going to let that video tell you all about the company because I'm not good at that sort of thing. I'm just going to tell you how I feel about the products that I have been using and how I've I've been using them yeah so first things first in the morning time you got to wake up you got to cleanse your face you got to get it right get it prepped get it ready for your makeup so I try to keep it really really simple I like one two three steps you know cleanse tone moisturize boom done the only time that I do more than that is when I exfoliate and I'm going to share that as well so first things first I use the Afala everyday coconut face wash and I use it with my Clarisonic Aria. The Aria has three settings on it. I keep it on the second setting at two minutes. So all I do is I squirt two pumps in there and you know, I clean my face, I do my business and rinse it away and it leaves my skin feeling extremely clean, but not like, you know, tight clean. Like it leaves just the right amount of moisture behind. Um, in this product, it looks like it has neem oil, papaya leaf, coconut oil and a few other things a few other coconut products which is why it leaves you so moisturized so i have absolutely been loving this i've been trying this or i've been using this now for at least uh three months or so and i've really really enjoyed it so definitely give this out give this a try and like i said if i need to do more than just cleanse like if i need to exfoliate i depend on my acure brightening facial scrub now this stuff here i've been using this for a while i'm sure that you guys have seen it on my channel i've hauled it i actually initially got it out of a birch box now that tells you how long how long ago it's been but i fell in love with it then and mainly because like it's really really gritty in texture but it's not real rough on the skin but it works great so it has argon celsim plus corella it has argon stem cell plus Corella growth factor and it says that it, it's for all skin types all of these products say they're for all skin types so let me just see what other ingredients they have they have organic sea kelp lemon peel which is the exfoliating and brightening part of it the french green clay removes impurities from your pores the organic Corella growth growth factor and argon stem cell work to stimulate new cell growth and repair your skin and then it has madonna lily stem cell that sounds fancy as fuck um to help brighten so it's a more like you know a real scrubby type scrub which is what i enjoy when i do go for like you know a scrub obviously but yeah love this so much it's really really affordable all of these products are really really affordable i want to say i maybe paid eight dollars for this big bottle this is a 12 fluid ounce and like i said i only use two squirts and look i've been using this for three months and it's like barely gone so all of these products are extremely affordable but they are also really really good with the ingredients organic natural fair trade all this good stuff so the next step would be to tone and I use the everyday coconut face toner and this also is for all skin types some of the ingredients are neem papaya 
coconut water and coconut extract and a few other things some oils so yeah I spray this on my face after I kind of pat it dry with like a paper towel and it just kind of brings my my skin back to its pH it doesn't feel like you know super squeaky clean anymore it just kind of refreshes everything so I've really been loving this a lot this has more out of it only because I put some of it in my travel bottle just to keep in my bag but yeah I love this so much and then to moisturize I use the or not necessarily to moisturize let me not say moisturize but for my SPF I use the everyday coconut face lotion this has SPF 15 broad, broad la, 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 la. can't talk I'm talking too fast let me slow it down so this has SPF 15 broad spectrum in it and this too is for all skin types now this lotion it will leave a white cast behind and that's because of the zinc oxide in it that is your SPF and it's not really thick like a moisturizer so to kind of balance that out I use this as my SPF but then I just end up blotting some of my Acure Moroccan Argan oil I just use about a pump of that in with the the SPF just to kind of you know moisturize a little bit more now this does not make me oily at all the thing about argan oil is that it's one of the very few oils that actually penetrate. So it'll penetrate into your skin, it'll penetrate into your hair, whatever you put it on, it's going to actually penetrate so it's not going to leave you greasy. So this is perfect for daytime because it's going to sink in and it's going to leave a great canvas for you to be able to do your makeup or if you don't wear makeup you can just leave out the door. So love this a lot. I want to say all of the Afala products range between eight to twelve dollars this one i want to say it was fifteen dollars and it's only because it's usda organic i believe um but love it so much and that's it for my daytime now as for my nighttime let's start with you know the the very beginning you got to remove your makeup i wear makeup so automatically that's just you know a part of my steps part of the process so recently I have been using the Simple Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes and it says that it removes waterproof mascara, it's kind to skin, no harsh chemicals, artificial perfumes or dyes. So in the past I was using <clears throat> I was using the Neutrogena wipes. I also use like the knockoff versions of those. And the thing that always annoyed me was like they would irritate my eyes and I didn't like the scent and I hated that you know it just left me kind of sticky with these guys you don't experience any of that you don't experience the stickiness you don't experience any odors you don't get any like you know uh tearing up in your eyes but what I loved about these and I wish that I had more in the pack but I'm all out right now but they are large enough to cover your whole face as well as moist enough to actually get stuff off and it's not like wiping the tissue on your face so i have absolutely been loving these i definitely need to re-up on these um yeah and i actually received this pack for free in one of my influencer boxes to test out and review and so far i've loved these and i can't wait to try more um and then as for like you know eye makeup now you can get most of everything off with this but i always like going back in with something else just to like completely remove my eye makeup because you know with mascara and like just everything like you need a little bit more help so recently i have been using the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water the all-in-one removes makeup even waterproof mascara cleanses refreshes no rinse no harsh rubbing the face lips eyes all skin type oh excuse me all all skin types even sensitive this says no alcohol no oil or fragrance so i got this one they have one with a pink cap as well i want to say the pink cap um does not remove waterproof i don't know i could be totally wrong but i don't know the the reason why this attracted me was because it had no alcohol no fragrance and no oil in it um 
So yeah, I use this mainly to get the makeup, whatever residue I have left over on my eyes off and it works absolutely excellent. I just pour this on like a cotton round and you know, I gently rub my eyes and it gets everything off every single time. Absolutely love this. And now on to my regimen. So after I get all my makeup off, of course I have to cleanse, except for at night, I do not cleanse with uh, my Clarisonic or any type of scrub. I use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Facial Wash and Scrub using Sanji Mushroom. I actually got this in a curl box body. Um, and at first I didn't like it because it's, it claimed to be a scrub. Now with this, I will say it's not a scrub because it doesn't have like any exfoliants or anything to like really scrub your face like this guy, which is why I like him and not him so much for scrubbing. However, to just like, you know, get your, your skin, you know, cleansed and like fresh for the evening. This is really, really nice. It's more of a creamy cleanser. It's not gonna foam up at all like the Afala one, which is nice because at night you wanna kind of nourish your skin. You really wanna treat it well. So this is really, really great for that. And um, I have been enjoying it mainly for my nighttime routine. And it also says that it brightens and tones. And let me just read all of it for you. It says, our nourishing blend of organic shea butter, coconut oil, and hibiscus flower extract firms an improved skin tone, exfoliating jojoba beads, <coughs> excuse me, smooths away dead skin while Sanji mushroom helps naturally brighten dull complexions. Leave skin feeling cleansed and smooth. I will absolutely agree with that. Um, although it is a, a creamier, a creamier cleanser, it does really give me a good clean feeling afterwards. So, been absolutely loving this. And then at night, I probably mask at least every other day, as of recently, anyways, because I've really been wanting to keep up the health of my skin and I've been using the Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Mud Mask. I too got this whole, I actually just got this whole set from that uh, Curlbox body. But um, yeah, it has the same things in it pretty much and it also has kaolin, benzonite, clay, and glycerin in it. But it's a really, really nice mask. I can say that I feel like it's helped a lot with, you know, just pulling out the the impurities in my skin, especially with this guy over here. I was really kind of struggling with him for a while. And then I started masking more frequently with this and it's helped out a lot. It smells absolutely amazing. I want to say there are fragrances in this. Well, yeah, it says an essential oil blend which, you know, essential oils aren't gonna harm your skin. But it has been tried and true. There's a ton of product in here. This is a six fluid ounce. And as you can see, like, I've been using it quite frequently and I haven't even hit halfway yet. So, been loving this long time. And then lastly, of course, you want to moisturize. So I have been using the Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Moisturizer with the Sanji Mushroom. And yeah, it's just like a thicker consistency clean, or cleanser, what the heck, moisturizer. And um, I, the one thing that I will say about this is I wish that it was a little bit more moisturizing, but like with my, my SPF, I just add a little bit of this just to kind of seal in the moisture at night. Again, this is not leaving my face feeling greasy or anything like that. Since this is like a thicker cream, it really, really penetrates deep. And then adding this on top really just gives me an added layer of moisture. So I have really been loving this regimen that I, <clears throat> I have really, really been loving this regimen. I swear to you, I can probably wipe away all of my makeup today and you guys will be blown away. So if you guys found this helpful at all, definitely hit this with a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys have been using or if I should be trying out any other products. I really like, you know, sticking with more natural or black owned or, you know, organic brands. So if you guys have any recommendations, definitely know, let me know down below so I can check them out as well. And until the next one, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you. Bye, peace.